you know, when I'm talking about repatriation of some of the inside these collections and the institutions, we, we get all the tribal people in, in, in involved. And it's part of a, a federal mandate, but we want to have e everyone there. We want to have everyone's in input. And so we can identify the right place to bring them home to, because a lot of times these, there's no longer tribal people there. And, or there might not be any specific tribe right in the specific area, but the tribes will come to come together and um, they'll figure out amongst themselves where to return those, those ancestors home to. And it shouldn't be up to the institutions to decide who brings those home, those ancestors home. It's really up to the native people, you know, to the people from, from the land. So they discuss amongst themselves where they should be um, interned to, how to bring them home, and, you know, for, for the ceremony involved too. I've, I've heard um, some of my um, elders that ceremony was done a long time ago for, for many of these people. And so they don't need ceremony today. Um, you know, but for every, every tribe, every, every group of people, every individual, it, it, it's different. But I do know that some people, by disturbing the remains, they don't want anything to happen on them. So they clean themselves with, with smoke and they, they clean their bodies. They'll, um, they'll sing and they'll feed the people. Feeding the people is one of the biggest ceremonies that we have today and you feeding the people breaking bread whatever you want to call it you know it's about taking care of one another taking care of the relatives first we acknowledge the ancestors that have passed on that came before us and that they gave so much so that we could be right here today but we honor them and then we take that food and we feed our elders we feed the people that have come from the longest distance away then we feed the local people that, that are there that are giving the ceremony. And that's how, how, how we do it. We feed the people, we feed the land, we feed the big house, we feed all the animals out there, all even the plants. So like when we're picking from the plants themselves, we offer song, we offer tobacco, we offer food. When we go inside the institutions and we can see the, um, the remains, the human remains and sometimes it's not a human remain it, it could be you know a funerary object maybe it's just an object itself maybe a a, a pot maybe maybe it, it's it's a rattle maybe it, it's it's a staff but we, we talk to it we sing to it we make that relationship with it we care for it we, we, we let it know we let that staff know that it's not alone we're we're thinking of you, we want to bring you home. So this is an ongoing thing that, that we do. And today, when we bring our ancestors home, we rebury them in our cemeteries, if we have a cemetery. But that's not always the case. Sometimes we want to, if they came from a certain location, we want to bury them you know, where, near that location, if, if we can, where, where they originally came from. And, um, you know, that's paramount because they're close. We want to bury them close to their other relatives, close to where, where they came from. We want them to feel at home. We, we don't want them to be in an unrecognized place. We don't want them to be in a, in a dark place, but we want them to be in a familiar place, a place where their relatives are at, a place where their relatives can come and, and, and visit them and still honor them and sing to them. We don't want them to be forgotten. So that's why we want to bring them home. And the, the mountains, you know, the, the water, you know, the, the, the songs that, that we hear from, from, from the birds, you know, e even, um, you know, when we were first started out today, we opened up with, with, with prayer, a, a song, and there was a little bird outside. And that let me know that our, our relatives are still here. And for you, you know, it could just it could just be a bird just ha happened to be there, but for us that's a sign that that, that b our relatives are listening to us. That's a sign to us that what we're doing is, is right, and that's what I have been taught, and that's what my dad was taught, and that's what he was taught by by, by, his, by his relatives, by his grandparents, by his mom, and and so 
you know, what we're doing here, bringing our ancestors home is, is really significant. 